Before we start with the installation, I want to pinpoint some things I saw on the internet concerning some statistics. If you look at the first one, it says it gives the distribution of the operating system by market share. And you can see that Linux is not available here. We have Chrome OS, which is a special type of Linux is 1%, 1.09, and Linux is not apparent in this market share. The next one is the desktop share, and you can see that Chrome OS is 2.58%, and Linux is 2.19%, which means all this Linux with all these distributions, Arch, Ubuntu, Debian, OpenSUSE, Mandriva, Magia, all of these di distributions, and all of these desktop environment, they encounter 2%. So this competition among Linux distribution is good, but the aim should be one, which is to construct the most usable personal distribution for everyone. And what I will try to do today is give a USB installation, which you can use on any computer with a Linux distribution to give you the power that Linux can have over Windows. And a final note, I want to give you some glimpse of one interesting factor is the Linux share in Greece, which I think is the most usable Linux market share in the world, which is around 9%. I don't think there's any other operating system other than Antix made from Greece, but it gives you a positive look at Greece. Now what you need is a USB, a USB 16 gigabyte or more, USB 3.0 is preferable, 3.0 or 3.2, and let us start with the installation. So currently we need three files, the virtual box and the extension pack, and the virtual box we can go to the website, we install it depending on your host. I have Windows host now, I install it. And the other thing, you can go down to extension pack and you also install it. It's all for all supported platforms. And the third one that we need is any ISO. I chose Artix LXDE. You can have it from the download link that I will provide. So let us start. So we open VirtualBox. For the virtual box extension pack, we go to file preferences, we go to extensions, and we go to here, and we add this VM extension. This extension pack is useful in order to for the USB to be identified as external media, USB 3.0. So it's very essential to include it. I have now included it here. I press OK, and we will start with the installation. We go to new. I will name it Artix because this is our operating system. It is Linux and the version for Artix, it is an Arch based 64. I'll click next. You choose whatever memory you need. Create, next, next, eight gigabyte. We don't, will not need it. And later on, now we will insert our USB inside the computer. So we insert the USB. So we insert the USB and we put, we go into setting. We go to USB. If you put the extension pack, you will see the USB one, two, three. You go and you check your USB if it is present. You press it and you press OK. So now we are ready. Before, if you want to use UEFI, you have to go to system and EFI special OS only. This is very important if your system is not legacy, you need to use EFI. So you enable it. We'll enable it. I'll put OK. And now we are 
ready to start so we we'll start we will choose the ISO as we said we used Artix so we go to downloads Artix open choose and start now we choose from CD DVD ISO we choose it and we press enter this is the typical open RC run it that is used in Artix we are in the live environment press execute okay we start with next New York next next and now we go up there is the virtual box the hard disk and there is the SanDisk 3.2 we press it so we have our 32 gigabyte USB and we need to do manual partitioning because it is EFI we need to specify two partitions we click on next so we create GPT so now what we will do is after creating the space we create two partitions so first this 29336 I will make it 29 gigabytes I will remove this one to be the root partition file system I'll keep it ext4 the mount point is should be slash I will not use the boot for this one so I will remove it so this is my first root partition is if you notice there is a free space unknown I will also click it I will put also boot and the mount point is because it is EFI I will choose slash boot slash EFI I did a mistake the file system is ext4 so let us change it it should be fat32 so I press ok so everything seems ok we have the root partition if you look up root is 28.32 and EFI336 so it's ok I press next and now we put the name or the username I'll put it as Artix the password it seems they ch they uh, they improved the password they are now accepting uh, good passwords because they have an icon require strong password the last video it required a strong password but in e either case I will add my strong password and I will choose use same password of the administrative account and I'll press, press next so now it gives me a summary of what I did there is created a GPT partition and 29 gigabyte for one partition 336 for the second FAT32 as boot and install Artex on EX4 and they set up boot for slash EFI FAT32 so we are ready and we will start installation creating new GPT it is starting to install we will come back when it's over so now it is done what we have we will not restart I will press done because it is in a virtual box I need to remove the USB from the virtual machine so what I will do is I will go to devices USB and unclick this one and I will remove it from my computer and that's it so it is removed and I will plug it again in the computer and will boot it from the computer we have booted our USB into this system this is the Artex LXDE operating system it is a full system and if I want to check here I will look for as you notice here it is a 32 gigabyte USB and I am using 11 gigabyte because I have installed my own programs and we will see them because I will log in now to open box and I will give you a glimpse of what I did with this USB so let us log in into open box 
I am currently running OpenBox, Artix OpenBox. I have fixed uh, the menus. This is the menu that I am using. If let's say I want to go to Firefox, and now I'm loading Firefox. You see it is very fast, although it is running on a simple USB, it is extremely fast. If let's say I want to go to Inkscape, I press Inkscape and directly I have Inkscape loading so that I can do my work. As you can see, it is very responsive and very fast. Uh, another thing, let's say I want to go to Shotcut, the video editor. And as you notice, it is very fast. It loaded very fast. If we go to the terminal, as I told you, I am using 11 gigabyte of storage because I have installed all of these programs. If you see down, I have the Tint 2 with all the, I have here soybean prices, the S&P 500 US market, the gold, silver, Bitcoin. I am using 516 megabytes of RAM and that is with the recording. So without the recording, it will be around 200, 180 to 200 megabytes of RAM, which is amazing. Here I have installed also JG menu. If you have, want a menu to toggle, but I rarely use it because I, I use always this right click menu and the Rofi menu, which is here. Let's say I want to go to Olive video editor. I press it directly. I am in the Olive uh, video editor. I've also installed the uh, a virtual machine. And as you can see, I am running Windows inside the Linux on a USB. So I, I am running Windows apps through virtual box on this USB. So this USB has Windows and it also has Arch uh, Linux. That is it for our installation. If you like uh, these kinds of videos or if you want to see more uh, distributions uh, run on a USB, just uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.